Okay, everybody, it is now time for What's Hot. This is where we talk about the stories that have everybody talking. We are joined today by Barb Bartline of the People Pro Plus, and Jeff Wagner is back. A new Jersey high school football season canceled for the rest of the year. They played like four games. It comes after allegations of bullying, hazing, and harassment by football players. Many parents say it's not fair to punish the students who had nothing to do with it. Should everyone be punished for actions of other students? This actually, this, this football team has won championships the last three or four years. They're, they're, they're a good team. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I think part of it is they said it was pervasive. Now, I guess in, to me, that's the big indicator. If this was just an example of a couple out of control kids, then I would agree with the parents that it's just it's unfair to say because you've got a couple of bad apples, everybody, including the cheerleaders and the band and everybody doesn't get to participate. At the same time, I do get the idea that this wasn't just a couple kids. This was something that was pretty much institutionalized on the freshman team, on the junior varsity team and on the varsity team. So if that's the case and you're going to make an impression, that's why I think you say, OK, this applies to everybody. We're not going to tolerate it. Yeah, and, and Jeff, it looks like this situation went through the coaching staff as well. In fact, they're entertaining criminal charges because there's allegations of sexual assault and, like you say, uh, uh, extensive hazing across the board. Uh, when I read the story, what I'm thinking is, boy, I, there's no way to even sort this out in the short term. I think the superintendent superintendent did the right thing by just canceling the season. Anybody surprised that it got to this level of punishment? Because football programs are typically the sacred cows that you do not touch, fear the wrath of, of, the, of the parents. Well, right. especially in this case, because the team is such a good team. I mean, I think that plays a huge role. That's why I was surprised right. that they made this decision. But I'm glad that they did, because this is out of hand, mm -hmm. and so many players were involved in this. I don't see any other way to clean it up. Right, and see, and, and that tells you, because you're right, Steve, football is typically the sacred cow, that tells you how bad this must have been. <laughs> you know, because like I said, if, if it was just a couple kids that were doing some stuff without anybody else knowing, you would have just bounced the kids, even if they were star players. But the fact that they felt they had to go program-wide tells me this was pervasive, and it's why I think they had to do what they did. And, and Courtney, I think you make a good point of, well, well, gee, this was a championship team. You know what? As I read this, I, I'm thinking, boy, the NFL could learn something from <laughs> this. Uh, just because you have a star linebacker doesn't mean necessarily they should be playing pro football. The right. NFL could learn something. <laughs> I think the NFL could learn a lot of stuff from real life. I think you're exactly right. All right, we'll leave topic number one there. Coming up, we'll reveal the viewer's choice topic of the day. And Brian got her back with another look at your forecast. Topic of the day. Again, we are joined by Barb Bartline and the aforementioned Mr. Wagner <laughs> from 620 WTMJ. Viewer's choice topic today. Should part-time employees receive health insurance? Walmart cutting health coverage for some 30,000 part-time workers to cut costs. The announcement follows similar decisions by Target, Home Depot, and others to eliminate health insurance benefits for their part-time employees. You know, this was an un unintended consequence of the Affordable Health Care Act, which now gives leverage to employers that want to get some of the people off their health insurance. However, I must say, I was looking at the premiums that they pay um, for Walmart insurance, and it was only like 20 bucks per pay period. That's not a lot. Yeah, th this was... This was the unintended consequence. You're exactly right, because here's what happened. Under the Affordable Health Care Act, um, you had a situation where the company is now forced by law to extend benefits to everybody who works more than 30 hours. That costs a bunch of money. And I understand people hate Walmart, but still it's a business, and that costs a bunch of money. So Walmart is trying to figure out, okay, well, where is the money going to come from to pay for this? And their decision is, all right, well, we all used to offer part-time benefits to part-time employees, so now we're going to eliminate that, and we're going to use the money we save to help underwrite the cost for the full-time employees. So it's good for the full-time employees. It's bad for the part-time employees. Would it, would it make better sense, though, to... Um um, like Barb said, if you're only paying 20 bucks a paycheck or 20 bucks a month, would it make sense to maybe raise those rates and still offer insurance to everybody? 
Well, well, it may make sense, but I can tell you, if they don't have to do it, they're not going to do it. Uh, insurance is, is very, very costly, and the health care costs keep going up. Yeah, My issue, though, is very often the people holding these part-time jobs are working one, two, three part-time jobs to try to make ends meet, and they may not qualify for insurance for many of them. Right, which, in which case, you know, they end up having to go into the, the uninsured market mm -hmm. so they can buy through their own exchanges. But, I mean, I don't think a lot of people realize how much health insurance really costs. You get your pay stub every two weeks, and you, you know what you're paying. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, you know, most employees, employers are paying a lot more than that to provide employees their thing. And, and part of it, I think, if people just knew how much health insurance really costs beyond what they pay out of their pocket, um, they, they might have a different attitude towards a lot of this stuff. All right, lightning round time now. Some Florida students won't be seeing meat on their food trays. On Mondays, one day a week, schools will substitute animal products for vegetarian dishes to promote a healthy lifestyle. Should all schools have meatless Mondays? I remember meatless Fridays as a kid growing up. Oh, yeah, mock chicken <laughs> legs and fish sticks. And I never knew what a mock chicken leg really was made out of. So uh, you probably chicken. don't want to know. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. But I'll tell you, I personally like this. This is a move towards, I think, healthier eating for kids. We went through that whole phase where basically a lot of the school cafeterias filled up their lines with garbage, uh, including chain uh, fast food restaurants, soda machines. I kind of like this movement in this direction. I have no problem if schools want to give kids vegetarian options. I mean, I'm a big believer in trying to promote healthy eating. At the same time, that this idea that we're just going, and that this, this is not just this one school district that does it. A lot of these districts do it. This idea that we're going to try to force this on kids, that's what I have an issue with. I mean, if kids want to get a hamburger, I don't think there's a problem with it. If you can give them tasty alternatives, vegetarian lasagna, something like that, well, th that's fine as well. I just wouldn't force it on them. I don't think it's a problem. I mean, I don't think they're giving them a bowl full of cauliflower and saying, go eat it. It's, oh, did it's you see some be... of the stuff on these menu items? <laughs> yeah, but Jeff, they're going to they're gonna take a vote. And if 70% of the students say that they like it, then they'll keep it. I, I think this is a great experiment. Yeah, if it's, veg, if it's veg, vegetarian lasagna, I don't even think the kids know that there's no they right. even in know. it. They, they, they wouldn't even do know. it right. All yeah. right, the What's Hot discussion continues online. Find it, tmj4.com slash hot.